Hello, hello, it is I, the Bearded Beerman, back for another round of hopefully delicious goodness. And let's start off with number three of the Ultimate Beer Works. This is very cool. The wheat, two times the wheat, two times the berries. This is an imperial fruit ale. And at time of filming, this is one month and four days old. So, ah, let's see. Beer facts. We took everything you love about beer, berry, white and double, and doubled it. Two times the wheat, two times the Munich. An overload with cranberries, raspberries, and the result was a slightly sweet, juicy summer sipper that gives you warm and fuzzies. Like when you used to climb the rope in gym class. Well, there you go. This is a juicy summer year sipper, not gluten free. They're using pale malts, Munich malts, white wheat maw wheat, raspberry fruit, and cranberry fruit. I want to be that rabbit for Halloween. He looks happy as can be. Well, let's pop it open. Wow, it smells like fruit in a bowl. Holy cow. And that color agrees. That uh, is a orangey color, very hazy. You can see a shadow through it. Very small head. Oh, what was the alcohol on this guy? This is an 8.3% ABV. And I see nothing about hops, so there may be no hops in this can. Yeah, those raspberries and cranberries are coming out strong on the nose. It smells like fresh cranberries. Like you were just making cranberry sauce for Thanksgiving. Mm, and just fresh raspberry juice. That is nice. Well, here's to you. A little bit of the wheat on the back of the, the uh, mouth. Th that fruit is not over sweet at all. <sighs> yeah, that's nice. It's like um, unsweetened juice. That could be dangerously good. You could drink that real fast. Hmm. Well. I think I'm going to do what the can says, and I'm going to sip on this, and I'll be back to you with some thoughts. We be back, and this beer, fruit ale, very tasty, very good. Mrs. Beerman, extremely happy. I'm pretty happy. It's got a good flavor. It's got a little bit of tartness, but not too much. I do have to say I'm not a fan of having a bug in my beer, but I don't think that's the beer's fault. I'm going to give this two beards because it is very tasty. It's a cool idea. The artwork is incredible. Altamont has been doing incredible things. Yes. So, 
If you're near Altamont Beer Works, go by. If you had this beer, let me know. Leave some comments. But for now, I'm going to go drink my beer. Be back in a bit. All right, next up, goodbye, very cool. You made me happy. Next up, something I know nothing about. Came across this in a bottle shop. Luvisky Ukrainian Porter. Eight percent. Uh, brewed and bottled in the Ukraine. If there's a date, I don't know where it's at. So let's try it. We'll call it the mystery beer. Ooh, some gas. That's good. Smells like a porter. Small head, half a pinky, good color all the way through. That is black. Not liking through that one. Uh, chocolate notes. Uh, kind of a, a fig. Caramel esque. Here's to a mystery. Hmm. Not bad. It's very light, light on the mouth. Kind of got like a creamy finish. Hmm. That's unique. I like that experiment taste. High in the carbonation, kind of got the, like a rich flavor on the end. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, this was two fifty, two dollars and fifty cents for a pint and a half. Pint and a pint and 0.9 fluid ounces. Okay, so this was a pint. Good, rich flavor. Well, let me let it warm up and I'll get back to you. We are back. And this beer is bringing me great joy. Yeah, this uh, date's still there, fig. <sighs> Raisins. And I was pretty confident I was going to give this just one beer for being really tasty delicious and then it continued to warm up and the carbonation broke down and the mouthfeel got better ah, just that creaminess those uh, dark fruits And that's going to go for a two beards, because that is good. I will definitely pick this up again. And I will try to do some research on this one and see what I can find out. Because this is really good. So, if you're out and about, look for that. I would try to say it again, but I'm afraid I would horrendously butcher the name. 
So we'll go for the Ukraine Porter beer. Check that out. I'm very happy with that. Well, I'm going to finish this off. And then we'll be right back to finish off with some stones. Well, it is time to share one more beer with you. Put that there. We'll put that there so you can see them. You can see and drool and zoom in. And if you speak Ukrainian, tell me what this actually says. Not sure how you'll tell me that since you'll be writing it and I won't know. But maybe you're smarter than me. All right, so last up, we are going for Stone Brewery Vengeful Spirit IPA. It's an IPA with pineapple and mandarin orange, a 7.3% ABV. And this is exactly three months old. Mmm, I smell those mandarins. What do you think of that? Oh, look at that. Pretty. So we got about a finger-esque uh, head. Good color. Lots of bubbles. Nice clean white head. Mmm, definitely that pineapple. Problem with pineapple is it overpowers everything else. Getting hints of some orange in there. Wow. Great carbonation still. Hmm. Well, cheers. Whoa. That is like the complete opposite flavors from the uh, berry ale. Very pineapple. Uh, very crisp. Very light on the mouth feel. Not bad. Getting a lot of the orange rininess on the on the finish. Hmm, it's very just chill. So far, not so bad. Well, I'm going to disappear. Let Mrs. Beerman have some, and as it warms up, I'll be back with my final thoughts on that thought. Now, if you have been following for a while, you know that Stones Brewery and I have had a rocky relationship. They get my hopes up with incredible beer, and then they dash them with beers that are really not that tasty. And then they bring them up a little bit, and then they bash them even lower. Will I ever learn? Probably not. Because I like giving companies more chances than needed. And at least with this one, it's a winner so far. So... It starts off good. It continues to be good. The flavor stays consistent even as it's warmed up. The The riny bitterness is a little bit stronger as it's warmed up. Uh, Mrs. Beerman is very happy with it. Uh, light, crisp. As she says, 
It's a good summer beer. And I think I would agree. But in the coming to the beginning of October, it's still a very tasty beer. So I'm going to give it two beards because it is tasty. And since we are running into 80 degree weather here, it's going to go great with some yard work. Mm. So, if you get a chance, you come across Stone's Vengeful Spirit, pick it up. Try it out. Let me know your thoughts. And again, I want to thank you for coming on, chilling out, spending some time with me. I hope you try to find some of these beers, or if you have tried other beers and you want to tell me about them, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, please share this video if you liked it. Uh, hit the subscribe if you have not already. Tell your friends. Hit that bell to know when I'm doing the next one. And remember, every beer is like a good book. You gotta crack it open to see what's inside. Cheers to y'all.